and Eitan Pates. Was he um, ever around the store at another time? Just I never seen that kid in in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You were working at the store for how long before this happened? Before I, what happened? Before this incident happened that brought us here today. I think I was working there for a year. Something like that, I'm not sure. A year, two years. And you would, and John Pates never came into the store? You never seen him. You, ne you never saw him in the store, or you never saw him, never period? I never seen him in the store, I never seen him before. You had never seen him before? Never. Mm -hmm. When you did see him, how long was he standing there before you, uh, before you approached him? Five minutes. Okay. And um, were you watching him? Or were you going up and down the stairs? And what were you doing during these five minutes? I went to the store, put the, the sodas in the store, mm -hmm. come back out. And I stand in front of the store, and there he was, in the mm -hmm. front of the store. Mm -hmm. Then I approached him and I asked him if he wanted something to drink. Mm -hmm. He didn't answer me. He nodded his head. I went down to the basement, he followed me to the basement. And whatever happened there, I choked him. It was something that just happened like quick. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why it happened. As you talk about it, are you surprised? I don't even know if it happened. Mm -hmm. I never saw his face. So, when you, um, you went down into the basement with him, um, you, you didn't go into the store with him, you went down to the basement with him. And he followed you, or you, followed. you said, come down to the basement with no, me? No, he followed me. Mm -hmm. And where were you going to get the soda from? In the basement. There was a fridge in the basement. Mm -hmm. So he, he went down the stairs, and he was behind you, is that right? He was behind me. Mm -hmm. Then he went in front of me. I stood behi behind him. And I choked him. Then when I choked him, I started shaking. And uh, there was a plastic bag and a box. Where did it came from? I do not know. It was thick. So I put him inside the bag. Then I tied the bag with the same bag. I put him inside the box. It was like a banana box, something, I don't remember. What kind of box was it? It was a cardboard box. I put him up on my shoulder. I cut him out of the store, out to like a block away, a block and a half, away from the store. There was people following me from the basement. All the people that were there at the same time when he was there. They followed me out. I took him, I put him like a block and a half away. I set him up on the basement, up in the hallway. And I walked back to the store. And I started working just like nothing. And so when you walked a block and a half away, was it, was it east or west or which, towards which street? Towards West Broadway? I was living towards... in West Broadway. Mm -hmm. So I went, down to the right of the store. I don't know if that was. I don't know if that was east. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or north. I don't know. I was in West Broadway. Probably went down east. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You said that he came out in front of you, and you choked him. And um, did you give him a soda? No, he didn't get the soda. Did he resist? No. 
What did he do? You were facing him from the back? I was facing him from the back. He was like standing here, I was standing behind him. Mm -hmm. I shook him, he went down, like this with his hands. He went down to the floor, I put him in the bath. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. And how long did it take before he went down to the floor? How long did you have your hands around his neck? Maybe a minute, mm -hmm. two minutes. Did he make any sounds while you were choking him? No. But you mentioned that his hands hung Collapse. down? Collapsed. Mm -hmm. His hands went down. Did he make any sound? Nothing. And when he was down on the floor, what did you think um, was going on? I just thought about putting him in the bag and put him in the box. I was there. I don't know how the bags got there. The trash bag was just right there. Mm -hmm. It was like somebody put it there. I don't know how it got there. I just grabbed it and I did what I was gonna do real quick and put them away. When did you um, when did you throw the bag over the freezer? Was that before you put them in the bag uh, or, or when? Before I put them in the in the bag, I threw the bag, his book bag over the freezer. It was behind the freezer. But you did that before you put him in the bag? Yeah. I didn't put I didn't put the the book bag, I did not put it in the bag, mm -hmm. in the box. Why? I don't know. I just grabbed it and threw it over there like that. Mm -hmm. And I just put him inside the bag mm -hmm. the box. Did you try to take his clothes off? No. Did he try to walk out when you grabbed him? No. Was he surprised? I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. So he didn't even... He didn't react. He didn't, and he didn't, he didn't react and you did it from behind? Yeah. And so you took him a block and a half away and you put him down um, and was there other garbage there also when you put him down? No, there was no garbage. So you just put him down? It was down. like a hallway in the basement. Mm -hmm. It was like a walkway, the hallway. They had no doors, nothing. Mm -hmm. I just went down the steps, four steps, and set the box in between the hallway there and came back. Mm -hmm. Who took it? I don't know. Anything happened to it? I don't know. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Somebody must have took it. Somebody must have known something. Mm -hmm. Anybody answer? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. That was the truth. I don't know nothing. You went back to work. Um, you. Um, and I went back to work, and then later on that day, um, I heard the news that there was a shower missing. Mm -hmm. And they showed his picture on the on the TV. Mm -hmm. But I didn't say anything because. I didn't feel like I had to say anything. So I didn't feel like do I do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. At some point, um, you went back to take a look at the box. When did that happen? Oh, and the at next what day, time? And the next day I went tell back. Tell me about that. Like, I got ready at 10 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. to see if the box was there, but it was not there. Mm. It was gone. Mm. Somebody must have removed it from there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they put it in the garbage. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if, I don't know if he left. I don't know if he's still alive. Mm -hmm. He might be alive. Mm -hmm. Because he was still alive mm -hmm. in the box. Tell me about that. You said that he was still alive. Tell he me what you remember. In the box. He was moving in the box. What did you feel? I feel his movement in the box when I was cutting him. Mm -hmm. 
He must have been still alive. He probably is alive somewhere. Who knows? I don't know. So you felt him moving. Was Did you feel him... Um, was he... Um, when you put him in the bag, he wasn't resisting. He wasn't moving then when you no. put him in the bag. But then afterwards he started moving. While you were carrying him. I was carrying him. So he and was when, still alive. When you were... When you were... Um, when you moved him in the bag, and when you, was he wet? Was he dry? Was he? No, he was dry. He was dry. Okay, and um, and and how did you get him in the bag? Did you do it by? I put the bag on his feet, and I just raise it up. Mm hmm. And you tied it up over his head. And and, and I take the bag and I put it in the box. And close the bag with the four leads, mm -hmm. you know, one between the other. Mm -hmm. Was it hard getting him into the bag? Did he have? No. Did you have to. Mm -hmm. And so you tied a knot. Is that what you did at the top of the bag? Or you, or you with used the same a tie. Bag. You tied a knot with the bag. With the bag. Understood. Okay. And um, and did you have to touch his clothes when you were putting him in the bag or not? No. no, I don't think so. Were any of his clothes messy or was there anything about his mm -hmm. clothes that was sort of off? No. I don't even remember the color of his clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, the only thing I remember is the book bag. Mm -hmm. I think it was a dark book bag. Mm -hmm. And he had blonde hair, that's it. I never saw his face anything. And you said it's a dark blue book bag and, and, and what other features did it have? What kind of, you know, did it have any kind of patterns or styles no, on it? I don't remember. But you remember the dark blue or, or something back, black? Probably and, black. And when you you say a book bag, is there anything else about it that you remember just in terms of features or of how it might have looked and, and that sort of thing? It was a white strap huh? book bag. I think it was black, I'm not sure. So the kind of thing that somebody would wear on one shoulder? On one shoulder. Instead of two shoulders? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, was he wearing shoes, shoes, or tennis shoes, or? I don't remember. I wish I could remember, but I don't remember. Did he have uh, any kind of marks, or scars, or? I mean, like you have a tattoo. Obviously, he didn't no. have a tattoo, but did he have any cuts or anything that you saw? I don't remember. What do you remember about his hands? Were they moving when you were when you were moving him? No, he's had his hands like on the side. Mm -hmm. So when I showed him, he just went like this. His shoulder went down. And that's it. Mm -hmm. 